This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Well, Dick, we have a storm headed in our direction. It's not going to be a strong one, but it will have a chance to bring a few showers. So early tomorrow, actually, things look good. Mild conditions early Tuesday with plenty of sunshine. But by later on in the day, we'll start to see increasing clouds coming in from the west and south. That's ahead of a storm system coming out of the Baja that will cross the state early on Wednesday. As it does, some scattered showers will come with it. Again, not a particularly strong storm, so it's not going to deliver a lot of rain, but a little is possible, especially south of I-40. And then nice conditions on Thanksgiving Day with mostly sunny skies. The U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to take a Maryland case that could have a big impact on New Mexico's Katie's Law. Named after murdered New Mexico State University student Katie Sepich, it requires the collection of DNA from anyone who's just arrested for a felony crime. The governor's office says that since that law took effect in 2007, it has helped to solve more than 350 cases. The Supreme Court will review a similar law in Maryland. A man there was convicted of a 2003 rape after his DNA was taken following his arrest for a totally unrelated crime in 2009. He claims being forced to give that sample violates his rights. Katie Sepich's mother is not worried that the Supreme Court is taking the case. We believe it's going to be upheld. And we believe once it's upheld, the remaining uh, 25 states will pass it because that's one of the stumbling blocks, as opponents say, it, you know, it violates the Constitution. Governor Susana Martinez's administration will file written arguments with the Supreme Court in support of the Maryland law. A decision is expected sometime next spring. The controversial coyote hunt that sparked national and international attention has ended with 39 animals killed. 52 teams took part in the weekend killing contest sponsored by Gunhawk Firearms in Los Lunas. Gunhawk says the goal was to help ranchers and farmers manage the coyote population. The winning team killed 11 of the animals and they won the assault rifle prize. Animal activists call that contest cruel and inhumane. An internet petition against it gathered tens of thousands of signatures worldwide. Join us for the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.